Well, you know, what to get the man who has everything for Father's Day? I don't know. I always think, what do I get my dad or my brother or my GQ brother who has everything? How about a nice martini? Sandra Spalding is here from Twin Liquors. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. Yeah, we've had great sale going on right now, too, in the stores where if you buy identical bottles of certain scotches and bourbons and uh, tequilas, it's 15% off. So if you're looking for a gift for dad, uh, that's certainly a, a great uh, way, to, way to go there. So, Excellent. Um, but Today, I wanted to make a martini Classic for you guys. Martini. Yes, Woo. for sure. So most people know the martini as being any kind of drink served in this type of glass, which is not necessarily the case. Um, this is a martini glass, and the classic uh, martini is actually a uh, drink that's made with gin and vermouth and a twist, sometimes an olive. Uh, anything else is not really a martini. So, you know, I thought I'd, I thought I'd uh, show you all how to make that classic drink for dad. I love so. it. You can never go wrong, you know? I mean, especially when if you serve it right and you mix it right. Absolutely. <laughs> can't really go wrong. So, oops, I did a little spill there. Sorry. That's okay. Um, so, uh, we have cleaners for that. <laughs> we have a guy who comes in later who looks up all the leftover liquor. <laughs> nice. Okay, so you do uh, one ounce, I'm sorry, two ounces of gin. Oh, I'm making a mess over here. That's okay. And, uh, no. and then one ounce of vermouth. And I didn't have pour spouts on these guys, so they were kind of there we go. And this is something you can do at home if you have the right ingredients, right? Yeah, absolutely. Now, the ratio is kind of up to you. You can do, you know, like a lot of people say, oh, just wave the vermouth <laughs> over the glass or just a whisper of vermouth. But for me personally, I tried a few different things. I just graduated from a mixology class at Tipsy Tech University. No, stop it. Yeah, I swear. <laughs> Tipsy Tech University. It's, yeah, I absolutely. think I'm going to enroll on Monday. <laughs> yeah. And uh, we were talking about, like, you know, different kinds of martinis, uh, different kinds of ratios to do with your martini and I experimented and I found that I like two to one so two ounces of gin to one ounce vermouth and uh, so basically you've got your you know alcohol in your glass there and then I like to add a lot of ice so probably about that much even it out a little bit yeah and now you'll notice actually that I am going to stir the drink which is a Take little, note, yeah. stir, not shaken, right? Right, which is a little bit different because, uh, you know, as penned by Ian Fleming, popularized by James Bond in the movie franchise, everything was shaken, not stirred. And I guess, you know, I don't know, James Bond liked his spirits roughed up or something, <laughs> or he liked them ice cold. So I think it sounds good to say, you know, it does. shaken, not, not stirred. stirred. Right. But if you stir it enough and you get it cold enough, uh, you actually can get a lot more aromatics out of the drink. And so I find, I did a little experiment where I did one shaken and I did one stirred, and the difference was astounding. I mean, definitely the one that was stirred had a lot more aromatics aromatics, a lot more flavor, and I think maybe sometimes when you shake it, it kind of closes the alcohol down a little bit, maybe even makes it too cold so you huh. can't taste it, but I know a lot of y'all out there like the ice chips type thing, you know, on your martinis, and you know, it's all personal preference, so you can keep stirring it longer, but since we probably don't have a lot of time. Yeah, we're running so, out. Yeah. I, I'd love to drink yeah. it, but. <laughs> okay, so basically, I've chilled my glass down, I've stirred my martini that I spilled all over the place, sorry about that, That's again. Okay. No, seriously, we do have a guy who comes in. It's our producer after the show. And he'll take care of it for you, so don't worry. There you go. So Sandra. there's your gin martini, and then you want to just do a little lemon zest right on top. So Awesome. Well, thank you so much for being here. Sandra Spalding, everyone from Twin Liquors. You may want to pick up a nice little gift set for Dad, if he drinks, of course. Well, now if you want to take a look outside, maybe take your martini on the patio. Ooh, nice.